Rich, too slick for Bailey. Papley, the look-away handball, wants it back. Hickey gives it back. Papley still got it to Heaney. Awesome. That is an awesome goal from the Sydney Swans. Clever hands from Tom Hickey, but absolutely magnificently done by Papley, who just weaved his way through the congestion. Reed engages Fullerton and just drops it oh, well in the path done. of Papley. Oh, well done. And Papley drops it in the path of Mills. Well, that's just pure Papley. That was brilliant. Brilliant play by Papley. But this is the first time I've seen him put in an A-grade midfield game, and if he can build on this, then the future is bright for him in that area. Back to Warner, and Warner. Heaney can give them one late. Warner is fantastic. Well, he plays on quickly. Papley. For a 41-point margin, Papley wow. kicks the goal. Unbelievable. A hard runner with a long ball forward. Papley uses his body. Up by says play on McDonald. Clever tap. Tried to favour Goulden. Papley comes again to Blakey. Nice evasive skills run down. Papley wait for the celebration. If he's kicked this Tommy Papley, he has. A third goal for the turn for the Swans. Sydney, they love using the corridor now. We start to see signs of it last year, but I think they've gone to another level this year. Smith stripped of the footy. Now the Swans into the middle of the SCG. Running on the ball, Papley taps it in front of himself, loves a goal, Tommy Papley hits 50 and hits Franklin. Unselfish, gives the crowd what they want. How good's this? Again, it starts from the same problem for the Adelaide Crows. Aerial contest in their four-line ball hits the ground. Sydney players sweep onto it. And then, again, Sydney attacks straight through the corridor, this fast ball movement. It's over the top of him. Parker taps it towards Papley's advantage. Did he get one high? He did. 148 career goals for Tom Papley. He was leading the Coleman halfway through the season last year. Really good effort from Papley, and the Swans get the opening goal at the MCG. A fantastic crop of forwards here. Short, Heaney, Mills, Papley, thrown off the footy when he didn't have it. Pap Papley's been going down. Yeah, he's just been energetic, hasn't he? Gaz is causing some problems there. That free kick was against Kane Lambert. Papley round the corner for the second for the turn for the Swans. Tommy Papley's got two. Sydney will go inside 50 again to McDonald. Ball engineered by Baker, but coming through Papley. Coming through Papley with a low ball. Loves that one, Tommy Papley. Sydney cracked the ton for the third week in a row. Oh, how good's Tommy Papley been today? Three goals, 15 disposals. And it's been enormous. 51 at three quarter time against the mighty Richmond Football Club. And again, the Swans will extract it from the middle. Reed. Had a good afternoon. Baker, it's cut off. Papley's got three. He loves a goal. He's already running to his supporters. Papley's got four on a dream day at the MCG. And then he's got the smarts about him to intercept the hands. Wow, Tommy Papley's been superb. We know he started the year in great fashion last year, but whether or not the team is going to go with him, well, guess what? The team's going with him this year. Mills. Oh, there's Papley. Papley's got four. He wants to go over the hanger. He stays down. Good discipline. He sniffs it at the back. Papley. Oh, he passes it off to a man in pink boots. But he just gets the ball when he wants it. <laughs> I'll have that. Thank you, young Wixie. Long looking for Hickey. Papley's dangerous in the situation. Eyes darting through the corridor. Centering kick. McInerney. Well placed kick. Good hands, McInerney. So Cox. And having the set shot at goal to rucking in the defensive 50. Sydney through Kennedy, a chance to get the lead back. He'll take his best. He gets right to the line. Swans fans seem pretty happy. So too will Tombi. But the Giants have won three of the last four played here. Kennedy got it on the boot swiftly. Papley has some options short. All the way? No. It's a second lead from Franklin, which is on it. That's the Haywood mark. That's 
the coach of Leon will not be happy with that. So he wouldn't have been happy with that either, Leon, as the pass was sent to that man, Tom Papley, who delivers a goal. Gee, that's good. <laughs> Still got plenty of tricks in the bag. Up towards 50, that's not bad either. From, oh, he's hurt himself, has he, Papley? Nobody saw that coming. They're in full flow now. Mills just drops it at barely the required distance to Papley. Some blokes get inaccurate when they strive for extra distance. I reckon because he hits it so square onto the target, he's pretty good, Papley. That's pretty good. That's very good. Jetta will have 20. Florent sets it up top of the square. Sun a bit of an issue. At ground level, Papley this time. And the Swans are back within one point. Ooh. Lloyd went through him. Markov saw him coming and uh, avoided any oh. catastrophe head knock-wise. Great kick by Papley, and McLean will get a late one here. Doing a fine job there into the leadership group. This movement from Clark. He's taking a bounce. That's ambitious. Swans come from everywhere. Sinclair ricochets to Papley. Papley's got the first. He's pumped. The Swans are pumped. And you hardly can get a read in the first 40 seconds, but since they've come with some real energy, Sydney Swans. Pirouetted around the tackler. Long bomb down the line. Sinclair got it to ground level. This is what Papley's brilliant at. And the squaring kick is going to be good, Dylan Stevens. Great work here by Tommy Papley. Hit up on the leg, didn't get used, turned around. Got front and square, and then good vision out to. They're streaming for the Swans. Can they steal this one? Cunningham. One-on-one -on -one contest. Padley's super dangerous. He'll take on Atkins. Atkins did really well. Sinclair picks it up. Back to Padley. Left foot snaps. Got Is it. this the match winner? Oh, Padley's done it. The Swans are in front. He knew he was going to kick it. He just knew it. He's saying, settle down. I've got it covered. What about this game? Unbelievable, extraordinary game of footy at the SCG tonight. Oliver tried to get it out, but it's the Swans by Joey Kennedy and Papley with great courage. There's bodies laying on the ground. Gordon and Papley. Take your time. You okay, Tom? Time's off. So you can just get a sense Tom, that, oh, that's a bad corky, isn't it? And now they get moving. It's got to be a good kick. It bounced off the chest of Sinclair, but Warner read it beautifully. He's got McInerney. Great chase from Pickett. Out the back, Padley. He loves his situation. Open goal square. Tommy Padley's got it. That sounds familiar. And the Swans are out of their chair. Back-to-back -back goals. And they just keep coming, this brave Sydney side. He hasn't had many looks. But he doesn't need many. Still alive here for the Swans, potentially, but here comes Tyler Brown. Heaney flicks it up. Haywood helps it on. Patley to finish it off in the end. And the Swans fans rejoice. Uh, great tap on there by Haywood. Terrific forward pressure. Pies trying to keep the ball alive, obviously. But uh, Sydney were there, the little forwards or the smaller forwards for Sydney getting involved. Collingwood will fly in numbers. And it breaks the way of Warner at ground level following up. The Swans might be away again. Great fend off by Papley. Floats a little handball over the top. There's no one inside forward 50 yet. Papley now surges in there. And McLean will honour the work rate of Papley, who's such a popular figure in Sydney. Collingwood flying the ball from end to end. And Sydney are making them pay. They're putting enormous pressure on where that ball is through the middle of the ground. And then their small forwards especially, they're off to the races. They're getting out the back of the Collingwood defenders. Great example there of Papley. Trying to get the heart rate down and utilise that shot clock. After hard running for 100 metres plus, Papley does finish it all off. Brilliant goal for the Swans. Hard running from McInerney. 
Out the back, there's a big chance brewing here for the Swans. Heaney is all alone, and Papley saw him. Brilliant teamwork from the Swans. Well done. Great effort again by the Swans to move the ball from end to end. It's been a feature since quarter time, Louis. And they'll chip their way up. Try and use that ball movement. Good entry, and Papley found a pocket of space. Leading straight up the ground, and Sydney will get the first shot at goal. He highlighted it pre-game, David King. And they found a way through for the opening attack of the match. But it's a pretty good one for the Sydney Swans. Papley gets the first of the game. Hickey in front, straight down. Kennedy almost running out of room. Papley elusive again. And then the check side. Incredible stuff from Tom Papley. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a great kick. It's a great kick under tremendous pressure. Warner's got some problems, but he's equal to the task. The footy's still hot to be won. Wicks will feed it forward. Pretty open for Sydney through the middle of the ground. It's great vision oh. to turn back inside to Heaney. But this vision here, we're talking about ball use in these conditions. He's pulled that back into the corridor. Sydney back out by 15. Not the 15 there. There's Papley. He sends it to a deep spot again. Hayward waiting for it out the back. He'll run into the open goal. Sydney kick a couple of quick ones. Row bottom, pretty open sort of half forward line. Kick goes towards Papley, who's always dangerous in this scenario. To the 50, kick to advantage. High ball for Bunny. Free kick held on to by Logue. But look at this kick. Give it elevation. Give Franklin the chance. Give, give the defender all the nerves in the world. Flicked out of there to Papley. Been quiet, as Jason mentioned, but that's very good. Hits the scoreboard for the first time in the game. Just watch how he ends up here. Tom Papley gets through and just does what any good small forward does. If your opponent's going to ball watch and you've got him behind him, just stay there. Hewitt came over the top of Martin. Tapped it to McInerney. He pushes it wide. Papley wants Franklin in the pocket and gets him. Got Papley on a searching lead. 50 from home. But wants it in quick. It goes over the back again. Kennedy, great vision, Papley. Runs around, kicks the first of the final term. Superb from number 11. And not for the first time. Looks for an option downfield. Franklin presents. Nice front and centre from Papley. Puts on the Jets. Burns away from Doherty. Runs to 50. Bounces at Goldwood. Papley gets his second. Margin out to 23 points. And this has been a professional final term so far from the Swans. High ball, Franklin. Worked under it by Jones. Papley was held. And he can go back and ice it. And he celebrates his third. Fourth club, fourth state, and they love him. But he's got a man out the back as well. The dangerous Papley. He stops and props. He says, I'm going to the goal square. This man Heaney's so good in the air. And that's as good as we've seen from the Swans this afternoon. Well, in the end, he worked it pretty well, Tommy Papley. Paddle backs back with the flight, almost in Nick Revolt territory. That was 17 years ago this weekend, that famous mark with the flight at this venue in this fixture. Now it works out for the Swans, a banana to get them out of their seats from guess who, Tommy Papley. One of the great celebrators of all time, Tommy Papley. That's why we love him. <laughs> we love him, watch him go about his business. Houston. Kennedy just edges it forward. It spins oh. on its end. There he is. There he is. 
21 goals, 14 and 13 games. Overall, he's had the most impact on the scoreboard off his own boot and in his direct assists. And most importantly, he kicks truly. Florent, eyes to centre half forward. There's Franklin coming hard. He tried to take the chest mark. Papley was perfectly positioned oh. and from 50 metres out, oh. he has blasted it through. He's only had the four possessions, but when you can transfer those into scoring options and in particular kicking a couple of goals, he's, in these conditions as a small forward, you kick a couple, you've already done your job. So Goulden plays on to advantage. Heaney's got there Franklin, go. who's within range. Oh, Way oh, too no. unselfish. No. no. Kick, it to kick it back to him. <laughs> so just a three kick afternoon until this straight through the big sticks for his first seven possessions and one goal so far this week Papley stays down with this kick forward and he pounces where's Lance he looks up he shoots the handball to Heaney fend off this has been a dream afternoon for Sydney fans Heaney through the traffic, still fighting hard. Papley's gold that. Advantage has been paid, and Papley's got his second. Got the ground level, Swooper and Hayward to Franklin. It was near perfect football. It almost came off. Can the dogs defend it? Franklin low, Papley always dangerous when standing up, and that's a ripper. Really nice kick. Finding Dawson in the end. He had Franklin on the outside, goes deeper for Haney. The decision was right. The Come advantage on. is paid. Papley, Hayward, they sell themselves into trouble, but it doesn't matter because where there's a will, there's a way. Packs it in Buddy's direction. Amadi flew, couldn't mark it. Davis has got it, they've got him. Reed tried to thread it through the eye of a needle. Still alive for Papley. Papley in the pocket pops it through. That's just really well read, isn't it? He knew the handball needed to go. He just bided his time, waited for the execution, and just intercepted it. Tom Green. Stolen back. Kennedy. Golden. Papley. He can just about put it in the book when Tom Papley's got it from there. I like that. I like a player who cuts it off and then is able to push forward and actually yep. finish off the work as well. Cause the turnover and then double positive kicks the goal as well. Just what on his range what? here, I think. You watch him just go out, he'll probably take the kick just beside the man on the mark, I would have thought. Yep, his eyes were darting and he goes inside and hits McInerney with the pass. Less than a minute left. Hickey tried to get it on the boot. Taylor got there. Got him off up the mess. Papley! Snappy Tom with the snap. You can just see here the work off the ball. So Reed gets caught watching the ball, doesn't reference his opponent. Tap Papley just slips in front of him. Perryman. Bell came at him. Parker on cue, just as we're talking about him. Papley unselfish to Wicks. And gives them breathing space. I like this hand pass, though. Yeah, so did I. I like that from a senior player to a young kid. And he gets room to move. Heads toward Franklin. Hands on it. Couldn't complete it. Papley from the pocket. How's the wow factor of that? The pure beauty of it. <laughs> Look at Papley, too. He's like, ooh, yeah. How good is this? Oh, did I really just do that? Yes, that's awesome. Great celebration here from Tom Papley. He's a high five king, but yeah. Just a normal rotation, I'd say. Oh, oh the kick from Logue. Well, he's been good up until that moment. Well, just when they were starting to really threaten and open up the Swans, Papley's kick is dynamite. They're back in it, this one, the Swannies. Again, had another fine afternoon. 
Dawson off the ground. Can they get another one late? The Swans. Papley's lurking. He almost wanted the one too. Except he got tackled. And it's going to be Heaney who started the route. And he's going to finish the route with his fifth. Heaney after a blistering game of footy last week. And that's a nice ball. Short to Papley. And he just points straight to the goals, little Pap. He says, righto. 30 goals on the season. Another really productive one for him. And that's drifting, but it's got through. Well done. Tom Papley. Farms it out to Cunningham. High ball inside 50. Frank Little arrive late. They come from all sides. Hit, Wicks, Papley. Bouncing ball. Open square. Board half pressure, Tommy Papley with a wonderful finish as he does week in, week out. Now they're away. The afterburners from Blakey. What's he got ahead of him? Papley hits back at the footy. What can he manufacture? The dribble goes through. Unbelievable. Tommy Papley, second of the term, third of the game. Cox, too hot for Draper. Through they come. There's another one, a big Tommy Papley. Three in the quarter for number 11. It's a two on one, and now the advantage over the back is Parker. Papley streaming goalward. Can he get the kick over the top of Ridley's head? One on one, Papley. Gee, that was a good kick from Parker. Gives it off to Franklin, and the Swans get another. Franklin gets his second. Margin back out to eight points. But he's extended his lead. He's way up out of the forward 50. Going towards a couple of swans. Goulden, Papley, snapping ball. Tommy Papley! Wonderful finish from the man from Bunyip. Enjoys a goal, enjoys a celebration. Couldn't have struck that better. That is so pure. That snap around the corner had some serious late bend on it. It was almost unplayable, boys. Just that late bit of in-swing. Unbelievable. That's huge. Plenty on the line, as we've said. Papley, can he create something wrapped up by two Saints? There's a Webster, in fact, it was McKenzie. And Papley normally eats these for breakfast. He's trying to fire up his swans. And they get back within 20 points. Yeah, they all came to the Don't wreck a good story with the truth you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> Grandfathers both wore this exact jumper. And Tom Papley, oh. Mr. Charisma, has slotted another. Gets the inside 50. Campbell. Zeebel with the fist, knocked it down. But here's Papley again. Needs to bounce. And got it to talk. He's got a couple. And Papley has turned himself into an elite player in that forward half. Hickey gets it straight down to Parker. His handball was a little bit high for Papley, but he gets the first kick of the afternoon away. And Franklin Marks on the end of a long lead. His eyes light up. It's an open goal square. But he's gone bang in the opening 10 seconds. But, uh, Hickey gets the tap, but it was a really good ball one here by Papley. Saw at the corner of his eye. Dawson's just... Owned that wing at the moment. He's going to go on the opposite. That's a clever kick. Tried to kick one to the open side of the ground earlier from a similar position. And he'll have another crack at it. His third attempt. This time, Papley makes no mistake. And he gets in on the act. Great goal from Papley. He started well. And then McInerney short at the last minute. So the Swans are in a totally different forward mode now. They've got the uh, ground ball players that can take a mark. Tom Hickey's the one who's pushed forward Papley as a target. Wedges it over the top to Rowbottom, who's got space, assesses the options, keeps it low, straight through the middle, and Rowbottom joins the goal fest. At three-quarter time, the lead by 46 points. Park has been excellent again. Papley started most centre bounces, and he drives it inside 50. McLean! For the relief work that he does, particularly for Tom Hickey. He's got a lot of upside, Hayden McLean. 
An important player come finals time as Papley again getting involved at the centre clearances. Charges the footy, full steam ahead, and then goes for goal. A bit of individual brilliance from Tommy Papley, and doesn't he love it? <laughs> well, if you're not going to give it to me, I'll go myself all the way. Yeah, great goal by Tom Papley. He's been pretty impressive in those Sydney Swans centre clearances. So it's a risky kick from Powell, and now they can torch them on the turnover. Franklin's there. What does Papley do? It is so far off the priority list, but he just allowed Papley to kick the goal. Yep, and Papley says thank you very much. So he's got his third. Over the top comes Parker, smothered off his boot. Hot ball to be won, just hacked out of there by Wicks. Great grab by Papley, looked to be out of position and off balance, and that's 50. Protected area, stay out, move out. What an incredibly strong mark that was from Papley off balance in mid-air, and somehow managed to hang on. Big penalty. 41-27 for the year. His finishing has been superb. And the Swans get first blood. Moving on. Hey. Goes shorter to Papley. And from 40 metres out, the Swans desperately need Tom Papley to find his range. Kicking's been a little streaky this afternoon. His team needs this from 48 metres out, and he provides...